Right now in Broward County, we're less than a week away until students head back to school and there are a lot of changes coming to the classroom. Local 10's Hatzel Vela sat down with the superintendent for a look at what's in store. It's been a year since Vicki Cartwright became interim superintendent of Broward Schools. Months later in February, the board gave her the permanent job. Cartwright took over during the ongoing pandemic, the cause of significant learning loss in schools across America. By honing in on that and really setting the bar high for ourselves, we know that our students will rise to those expectations. Cartwright says math, science, and English remain her focus. In early July, the state gave Broward a B rating. Like other school districts, Broward is also dealing with a teacher shortage. At last check, 148. People just don't want to go into education anymore. Cartwright cites low pay. Funding in Florida ranks as one of the lowest. It also has to do with outside stressors, like state laws she believes are creating confusion among teachers like the parental bill of rights known by opponents as the don't say gay law. There are some teachers that are very nervous about that. For me, I want them focused on the curriculum. I want them to be focused on the content that they should be teaching, um, the standards that they should be teaching. On school safety, Cartwright touts significant updates. Cameras are geocoded, she says, so the sheriff's office knows what's happening in a school campus. In grades 6 through 12, they're using handheld metal detectors for random screenings and no more emergency color-coded systems. Instead, they're using a plain language approach so it's easier to understand. Rather than using colors, we literally just say the words, hold, and they know exactly what they should be doing at that point in time. The superintendent's also encouraging folks here in Broward County to vote in favor of the referendum on August 23rd. Funding, she says, will help keep those security personnel in schools as well as retain teachers and make it more competitive for them. For now, reporting live in Fort Lauderdale, I'm Hatsavala, Local 10 News. Okay.